Hello Libra, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Libra, we are going to use the Wild Unknown for your reading. Wild Unknown Oracle and Wild Unknown Tarot. So let's get started, Libra. Libra. The fish. You're somewhere right now where you feel too confined, too small. It's time to move. It's time to grow. It's time to jump out. There's a cycle. A cycle here that doesn't suit you anymore. It's almost... Actually, it's almost like you... you. It's like you're trying to get out of this cycle, but it's sucking you in. It feels... It's weird. It's looking like a black hole to me. The way this energy is almost like trying to pull the fish back in. Trying to pull the fish back in. Because it's a crescent moon, there might be something here that is um, uh, work, un work unfinished. Some type of work unfinished here is the energy that I'm picking up for you. There's some type of knowing or information in this area, even though it's got like the energy of a black hole trying to pull you in, like it pulls in this, pulls you into it. Everything outside of you is dark. There's some type of um, information or knowing within an area of your life where the work in that is not completed. And it's almost like the cycle pulls you in so you can know something, so you can learn something, so you can have what you need to be able to proceed forward. Because, yes, you definitely, but it's almost uncomfortable. It's almost uncomfortable because this fish, this carp, has grown out of whatever the situation is that they were in, and they need to move forward. They need to expand. They, they're, they've grown beyond this situation. But it's almost like there's a last little bit of information in a situation that you need to be able to move forward. It's like an enlightenment, to be enlightened about something. A final enlightenment, a conclusion. The swan. You're pulling out a lot of water energy here. Self-reflection. And the tiger immediately turns into fire. Your intuition is trying to tell you about an energy that's around you, but there's something about your own life that you're focused on. There's something about your own life that you're focused on. And you're missing what's focusing on you. The tiger can also actually, in this deck, speak of the divine feminine, so that's very interesting. In this context right now, it's not coming out like that. But it looks almost as if there's an answer. Some type of enlightenment here. And you're, I want to describe this almost like being in a hermit mode, maybe. 
being in a hermit mode and like thinking a lot about you know what's going on in your own world what how you're feeling about things what are you processing um who are you becoming too if you're like kind of you've grown out of some cycle here who are you becoming but there's something watching you like there's an energy or it's like to be aware of a sudden shift because this this right it's kind of like all this water you had two cards two cards of water being out in the water being in a deep emotional state here and then being really focused on yourself um as you kind of like glide into shore but if you're not paying attention right like it's going to really be whoa where did that come from I'm not getting like a dangerous predatory energy from the tiger. I'm getting a, you haven't, you're not even paying attention here. <laughs> getting is you're not even paying attention here. Oh, look, well, okay. You have the fire ant, the panther and the dolphin. Oh, this is so cool. I love this energy, this underlying, um, I, this is a very uncomfortable energy, the fire ant. There's um, something going on here, some sort of conflict, and it draws everyone else in. Oh, let's see what this is. What's going on there? But then it's almost like this. This is my super powerful energy, the Black Panther, which is very high spiritual protective energy. Um, and it's almost like it, it stops whatever this is. It protects you and like right the dolphin is this beautiful healed um this is heal karmically healed emotionally healed like it's a very beautiful healing card and it's also like described as the healer some sort of powerful energy intervened here for you in a situation that was uncomfortable and it's also a situation where, you know, it could have been something between you and another person. It could have been something between you and a small group, but it garners a lot of attention and it's negative attention, negative attention. And then this comes in and it protects you. Like it's almost like a karmic injustice here. And then this comes in to create karmic justice and then you know, no longer being influenced by whatever this is, you're able to balance yourself out here and heal yourself. But it's really curious, right? Because it's like something wasn't right here. And as soon as it's eliminated, you can be better. <laughs> you can be better. It does feel like an intervention here. Like um, it's a bit of a divine intervention in this underlying. And well, maybe where you've been. Okay, so that's interesting. Maybe where you've been in some sort of karmic healing, um, purging. That's too small for you now. Like you need to grow perhaps beyond healing. And this is, I mean, such a peaceful energy, such a beautiful, peaceful energy, but then everything changed. Oh, this. Okay. So this is almost like just gliding around, just gliding around. Um, there's no sense with this swan card. There's really no sense of um, like anxious energy or um, lack of patience, or it's just, I wanna say it's content. It's kind of like a content energy to just float, experience the day, right? But it's almost as if, well, you're not proceeding with this energy because there's something here that you need to be enlightened about. And then who's holding the enlightened is this tiger energy. There it is. Okay, you're coasting into something here. And you may have even turned your back on. I don't know what this is. Could be like, maybe it's this. Like, maybe it's this. 
And for God's sake, yeah, why would anyone go back to that? I don't care what information is there. You're probably not going to go because, like, you even the universe steps in and says, holy mother of God, we really need to, like, just stop. Just stop. And you can go and look after yourself. Find, find your happiness. And really, like, float into contentment. Um, wow, it's kind of funny because what's the fish? Jumping back into the water. Air, air, water, 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 fire. That's what you have here. Oh, no, sorry, fire, fire. That's why air, air doesn't have a line through it. Fire, fire, water, 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 fire. Okay, the fire felt uncomfortable. So, because I, when I grabbed these cards again, I grabbed it and the fish was in the reverse. And it's like he's now diving down deeper into whatever this pool is. There, okay, there's some, there's something here, Libra. Like a lesson, some type of information that you really need to know. And it has all, this information has everything to do with um, moving beyond um, content, being content in life. Or moving beyond a very, I don't know, peaceful cycle. It's not to say that it's going to take away your peace or take away your healing. But it's almost like um, this is a higher level of fire, though, than the fire ants, right? Like this is, this is the kind of energy that it feels like a lot of projection. It feels like a lot of gossip. It feels like a lot of a nosy energy. It feels like a lot of people that, you know, do something better with your fucking time. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, because I'm talking to adults here. I'm assuming I'm talking like to adults, right? But this card, every single time, I always get the same energy from it. It's like, you know, two kids in high school or something that bump into each other. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, schoolyard, parking lot, after, okay. And so it's like an issue between you and someone else. And, but you got a couple friends that come and then they got a couple friends that come and then their friends start to come and then so and then before you know it, everybody is there and for what like is anybody there trying to make it better no it's <laughs> like it's this energy nobody's there trying to make it better they're all like um egging both of you on right like no everybody wants to see the drama but the drama's not about them it's interesting everybody wants to see the drama and feed off of the dramatic energy but you know well it's not me though so i mean in a sense it is taking advantage because a really good friend would pull you aside and say hey let me go talk to so and so this is you guys you shouldn't be fighting over this come on it was an accident <laughs> no but there's, i don't know what this is right and then the panther comes in and says that's enough that's enough this is ridiculous. What are y'all doing? Oh, y'all, the Lord of the Flies. That's where this comes out. The Lord of the Flies. It's really interesting. The Lord of the Flies. It is. It's like a mismanaged lower energy. Okay. So it's almost like there's an, there's an association with the fire with that for you. But look, the panther has the fire, and the panther stepped in. The fire's not all bad. <laughs> the fire, the element. Because, right, with the fire, too, can come enlightenment, right? Like, I'm seeing, like, the Ace of Wands, like, oh, a spark of idea, a spark of knowing. A desire to do something today. So it's almost as if to say that there's some type of experience that you've encountered here that circles around the element of fire and the energy of fire. So it kind of either leaves a bad taste in your mouth or make, makes you very apprehensive about ever encountering that type of energy again. Um, but this is, this is almost coming in as a reminder, oh, fire also protected you. Fire can burn you and fire can protect you. And so what do you do when there's too much fire? You run into the water. You run into the water. And you do heal. It's almost like you got burned. You got burned in some type of situation here. 
How interesting. So now I'm being shown, you know, like if a, like a forest fire or something is out of control or um, I'm going to go with that because I was going to say like a controlled burn in a field, but this is not a controlled burn. You could almost say, yeah, okay. But there does feel like intention around it. It does feel like there's intention around it. Um, so I'm seeing, I'm literally seeing like someone, sometimes I feel uncomfortable like vocalizing these, because probably people out there like that. But anyways, so it's almost like um, a farmer who really dislikes, I'm not going to say you, <laughs> I'm just going to say a farmer who really dislikes, um, not a farmer. I'm not going to put it on the farmer. That's why I feel uncomfortable with that. Farmers are our friends. This is like a big corporate farm. Okay, this is a big corporate farm. Corporate, that feels better. Corporate. Corporate farm. Like a big industrialized corporate farm. And they want your farm. All right. You're a farmer. You, you grow your beautiful organic... Um, I don't know how you grow organic. And nothing is coming to my head is like, I don't know, corn. <laughs> you grow your organic corn. You're, I'm actually seeing okra. I couldn't get the word. I don't know. Maybe you grow organic okra. I don't even know how okra grows. I'm in Canada. I don't know how that happens. So, okay. You grow your organic okra in your, in your wonderful little farm. Okay. And um, the big corporate industrialized farm beside you or that you back on to want your property and you ain't giving it up but there's always drama there's always like something going on or there's always like always kind of picking at you try to get you like you don't make you feel uncomfortable you don't want to stay here i'm going to make you feel uncomfortable you don't want to stay here so you can, and then i can have your farm but then it's it's almost like this energy steps in So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing um, somebody who's like burning a field, right? Burning a field is the big corporate industrialized farm is burning their field. It's a controlled burn. They have a permit and everything, right, to do this. Um, but they're actually, the one thing that they're not, they're doing it on a day where the wind is blowing towards your farm, right? The wind is blowing towards your farm. But it's as if something happens that creates a natural buffer, like a beaver. It's almost like this energy sends in the beaver. Beaver go, you know, little animal, sweet, innocent animal. I can influence you directly and I command you <laughs> this energy because I do. I feel like it is like a godlike energy. I command you to overflow the dam, to break that dam that's holding back this wall and it and so all of a sudden you end up with this um saturated area the water the water so you're associate oh my god your association is that the water saved you and your farm but it was this ah. oh, i like how that came out that is yeah i don't know okay um so it creates almost like a, a flowing river and, you know, maybe your little farmhand comes by or whatever and says, oh, farmer, farmer that's all. Your field is going to be ruined because it's overflowing. Like, oh, my gosh. But then you smell the smoke and you see the fire and you can tell by the wind that the controlled burn is coming right your way. And what stops it? This stops it. That stopped it. But it intervened with the use of water. So now you associate water as being the savior and the fire being the danger. But there's something here about um, the fire can also save you. Oh, yeah, because the wind changed direction. The fire came up against the water. It could not cross. Your farm was saved and then the wind changes direction and blows down. <laughs> It burns down like the industrial commercial farm that was trying to like push you out and take over. 
right? Because there's this, this massive healing energy that comes in. I'm, and I'm sitting here thinking, well, how's that going to go? Because now it's like you still got the industrial farm behind you, but it burns it all down. Oh, and then maybe because that draws attention and they're like, you had a permit to burn, but you only had a permit to burn if wind gusts were below this this level. So why were you burning at wind gusts that level? And you knew that the, <laughs> something happens here, right? That's a very interesting underline. And then you're all in your water. And, it, and I want to say too, it is like content and... But something's too small. Something becomes too small for you. Maybe your own farm. Maybe the, it becomes a like um a David and Goliath type of energy. And with the David and Goliath energy, like you get um some type of attention, and everybody wants your organic okra. <laughs> you know, it's like I can't keep up with demand. And you're just kind of coasting here. And you're like, well, I guess it's okay. But you see, when we coast for too long, we no longer grow. And the fire is calling you. Now, that's interesting because that's making me feel like it's almost as if um, you should consider the industrial, the burned down industrial farm beside you. But there might be like an unhealthy association with it. Or maybe they used a lot of pesticides. You know, like, you know, it's going to take a long time to get that organic certified. That's very interesting. I'm only going to pull one tarot card for the tiger. Okay? Because so much came out with these oracles. One tarot card. For the tiger. <clears throat> it is... It is divine feminine too, which if having your sights, having your focus hyper concentrated or something is, it's almost like the fire is calling you back. The six of pentacles, it is to balance the scales here. It's to balance the scales. So this is interesting. I'm seeing it play out now almost like um, the industrialized farm goes under because their insurance wouldn't cover them for what was ended up being deemed an illegal burn because they didn't follow the wind restrictions. <laughs> and um, it's like the, the land gets parceled out. And I'm seeing people who you know, live in apartments and condos and don't have, and it turns into like a community project. Isn't that interesting? Because it is like the fire calls you back, right? The Six of Pentacles can be about like about a charitable energy too. And it is, it's like a community project that pulls you back to the fire, to the scene of the crime. And that, my friends, is how you get the enlightenment back in something here I don't know like maybe for some of you it's returning to hometown or it's going through your parents paperwork after they've passed away or going to a reunion or yeah the underline is the Son of Pentacles. It's interesting. All of a sudden, like this. Uh, well, we do have two Pentacles. Well, it's a Pentacle. We didn't. None of these. Obviously, the Oracle cards are not tarot, so they're not Pentacles and such, but they are the elements of it. Um, practical. There's something very practical here for you to consider. And the page. Learning something. Oh, sorry, no. Yeah, the sun is the knight, the knight of pentacles. This could this could be something that's going to turn into a long-term project for you. Yeah, this is some type of enlightenment back at the science, current, cr scene of the crime. And that's what I have, Libra. I'm going to go do the extended. 
I think it's the extended. I'm just going to use the same decks and I'm just going to pull out cards. I'm just going to let it flow like this baby. There you go. Thank you so much, Libra. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.